Hello world and welcome. Today we are going to talk about RNNs and LSTMs and we are going to predict the Bitcoin course. My name is Harris and let's get started. So for more content and tutorials, please hit the subscribe button or leave a like comment there. I would be really happy about it. What are the pros of LSTMs? So you can basically use them in text, video, speech and time series data and you can analyze the time series data within. You can deal with exploding and vanishing gradients by using the LSTMs and you can update the weights with backpropagation. The input and output data is therefore as flexible which you'll need for time series data and it can create dependencies between the data points. So what is the difference between a normal neural net and LSTM? What you can see here on the left, we have the neural net. With forward propagation, we are going to pass the weights and the information from one layer to the next. We have the input and output layer here. And on the right, if we put it vertically, we have the um, uh, recurrent neural net. And Therefore, you can see the input and the output layer here and the hidden layer in the middle. And we are back propagation. You're going to update the weights here. What is the dependency of data points and why is this really important for us? So if you have a time series data or here like a picture or a video, then you can imagine that we have different time slices from left to right. And if you would use normal neural nets, you can just you could, couldn't predict if the football player here is going from the left to the right, if he's going to push or run. That's why we are going to use LSTMs to have these dependencies within. So you can imagine this here that you have an input and output layer, and the hidden state in the middle, which is going to pass the weights from one layer to the next or one neuron to the next. But in this case, it's all the time the same neuron, which will be just update the weights and pass it itself from one second to the next. How does the LSTM look inside? So here on the left, you have the normal RNN unit with input and output. And um, on the right, you can see the LSTM unit with the forget gate, input gate, output gate. So it's nothing else than a memory cell. You can imagine it will load the data, it can write the data, delete it, and yeah, like a normal cell itself. So today we are going to um, try to predict the Bitcoin course. That's for, I'm going to open here the Python code where we can see um, the libraries and the packages that we are going to use today, LSTM. Keras, um, and then we are going to load the data here, um, which is important here uh, that we can see the Bitcoin course within um, each day. We have the open price and the high price, low price, etc. And today we are going to use the open price and high price and try to predict with this deviation within respect of the last day. The, yeah, the, to predict the open price itself. That's for we are going to um, split X and Y data here and we are going to see the last 20 days to predict the price. Here we split the data and we are training the model where you can see here that we are um, adding a LSTM layer, um, dense layer for the output and we are going to see how the accuracy looks like. That's, for, that's why we are, first of all, of course, um, checking the model. So we have the LSTM layer, the dense layer. And we can see here that the accuracy is really bad. It's only 2.5%. But we will see in the next courses how we can improve the accuracy with different techniques. So afterwards, we are going to predict the price here. And you can see that I created here um, different new columns like open change. So the difference between last day and this day. And also the prediction itself of the open price. 
I'm going to plot here the um, open price and open predicted um, from 2015 to 2020. So today, the May, um, we can see after halving, of course, the price is also going up. So it's a good sign. It's almost 9,300 here today. Um, but we can see, first of all, it looks pretty good, right? So if we see a little bit more clearly within the last 100 days, we can see here it looks pretty good. So there's kind of some delay within um, the, yellow, the, the orange line, the predicted price. But in the next um, tutorials, we are going to have better accuracy within some techniques and to improve the accuracy itself. So thanks for watching. For more content, hit the subscribe button or leave a like comment there. I'll be really happy about it. Thanks a lot and see you soon.